So I woke up this morning and had this intuition about these giant bluefins that have been coming by for like two weeks. And I said, you know what? Today's the day. Brought this big crane out of the friggin' archives. We've been using this thing since the 60s. And it still works. We went out there. Colby rigged up this beautiful Spanish mackerel. We saw these giant bluefins. We saw a pair, and then we saw a single, and they didn't respond, then we saw a dozen. And these were behaving correctly. And there they were, behind the boat. And one, seven, 800 pounds comes out of the pack and piles on this mackerel with this 12-0 hook. He's right behind us, right behind us. He's right behind his bait. We have 40 pounds of drag on this reel. And this, this line was crackling off of here. It was unbelievable. These guys were just amazed to see what was going on. And there we were, 40 minutes into it, and got them beside the boat. Quite an animal, quite an animal. Colby, great job. And we let them go unharmed to fight another day. They're going to the Gulf of Mexico to spawn. So we let them go. Well, you know, after we caught Ballyhoos, we steamed out right in front of the lighthouse and Cap says, you know what, put out a couple surface baits. So, Cap's telling me to rig a mackerel. I'm sitting right over here, I'm rigging the mackerel. Oh, yeah. And Nick's got a couple surface baits out. Next thing you know, Nick hooks a sailfish. We're on, first two minutes, we're on, we're tight, we're tight. As we're fighting the sailfish, I'm like almost done with the mackerel. Cap goes, there's the bluefish, the bluefish, they're coming. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going in my last stitches. Anyways, we catch the sailfish. Now we're on the hunt. We're on the hunt. We're sitting right into it. I hear Nick in the tower, call me! I go, I look at him, he goes, they're coming, they're coming! Next thing you know, we go and we run down, see, get up in front of these fish, and we overran them. We actually had a post up for a second, and wait till we saw him. We saw him a sixteenth of a mile behind us. And we let him get a little bit closer, and then we started pulling out the bait, putting out the bait, pulling out the bait. We got the bait about 150 feet behind the boat. And we're watching this big mackerel just swimming down the waves. And you got tunas coming down each side of it. Some smaller ones are on each side. I saw this 500 pounder come down the side in front of the bait, turn sideways. I thought he was gonna come up and eat it. So I got ready, I got ready, and he never showed up. Big papa, or I'm sorry, big mama. All females are big. Big mama just comes up out of nowhere. <gasps> I was like, oh my God! That mackerel went down in that wave. He just, she just went sideways. Oh! And everything just went crazy. Nick screaming, oh my God, come on! Oh my God, you're the best! Hey, you ready to go to It was just so unbelievable. It's been twice happened that we've tried to bait them down here in the Amarada. Kathy got one uh, two years ago with Rich, and then we got one today. And uh, it's just, it's so amazingly beautiful to see that fish in its natural habitat just come up into your slick and your bait and you fool them. These are our anglers today. You got John right here in the blue shirt, and you got Jim in the red shirt. They've been with us all week. They caught some yellow tails the other day, and then you know what? They showed up today. And what'd you tell us? What'd you tell us first thing? I walked on the boat first thing, and I, I looked at that big crane of a rod over there. I wasn't sure what was going on. I walked in. I said, we want to, don't want to do any more yellow tail, you know, snapper fishing. We've been killing them. And said, so let's go big game fishing. And so Alex looked at us, and he goes, that's what we're going to go do. That's what we did. 
killed a monster too. That is the last thing I thought I would catch in the Florida Keys. <laughs> the last thing. Seriously. Never in my wildest dreams would I have thought I'd cut a bluefin tuna down. Never. And yeah, no one targets those. No. And we, we, yeah. had, we, had, we were very fortunate. Alex knew how to and he you know, target them. And, yeah. and, and uh, you know, fish of a lifetime. Fish of a lifetime. And, and you guys tagged it, right? We were not able to get a tag in it. He broke off the leader right at the last second before we could get a tag in. But but we released. are getting him we're out. Too of busy. He was we're too busy taking pictures. We were <laughs> yeah. we could have tagged. Oh, yeah. That's true. Oh, yeah. That's we true. Could've. Yeah. We could've. That's incredible, That's guys. It was awesome. Yeah. Phenomenal trip. Very cool. Well, thank you guys for coming down to Bud and Mary's. You oh, bet. Yeah. It was phenomenal. Great time.